Let's start by taking a closer look at what MEAT is. Developed by Roketsan, MEAT is a laser-guided mini-missile. Its dimensions are incredibly small, just 1 meter long, 40 millimeters in diameter, and weighing only 2.5 kilograms. Being this lightweight makes it easy to integrate into various platforms. But don't let its size fool you. MEAT can strike targets with laser precision at a range of up to 1 kilometer. What's really cool about MEAT is its laser guidance system. You mark the target with a laser designator, and the missile homes in on it with pinpoint accuracy. Plus, Plus, its low explosive impact minimizes collateral damage, which is a huge advantage, especially for special operations. The missile's design is so compact that it can fit on the wing of a UAV or even in a soldier's backpack. On top of that, it offers a cost-effective solution, meaning you can achieve high-precision strikes without the need for expensive missiles. In short, MEAT is small but incredibly effective. So, where is MEAT being used? First off, it's an ideal solution for unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, and unmanned ground vehicles, UGVs. For example, we've seen MEAT being used on Asselson's Aslan UGV. Aslan, equipped with MEAT, is deployed for reconnaissance and threat neutralization missions, capable of precisely hitting enemy targets from one kilometer away. MEAT also makes a big difference in special forces operations. Thanks to its lightweight design, soldiers can easily carry this missile and use it to quickly neutralize threats on the battlefield. It's also been tested on UAVs like the Bayraktar TB2, though it's not yet widely used in mass-produced UAVs, but its potential is huge. Another area where MEAT shines is in asymmetric warfare scenarios. Being low cost and portable, it provides a fast and effective solution for counterterrorism or cross-border operations. Roketson clearly had these kinds of missions in mind when developing MEAT. Now, let's talk about why MEAT is so important. First of all, MEAT reduces Turkey's dependency on foreign defense technology. Normally, missiles for such precision strikes are imported, which is both costly and tied to foreign policy constraints. With MEAT, Turkey meets this need with a fully domestic solution. Another key point is MEAT's affordability and portability. Instead of relying on large, expensive missiles, this small missile can be launched from compact platforms, offering both economic and operational advantages. Plus, its seamless compatibility with domestic platforms boosts Turkey's UAV and UGV technologies. Finally, the development of MITE marks a major leap forward for Turkey in mini-missile technology. Roketsan plans to use this technology in more advanced systems in the future. Who knows, maybe one day we'll see a longer-range version of MEAT. Roketsan's MEAT is a missile that achieves big things despite its small size. From UAVs to special forces, it has a wide range of applications and strengthens Turkey's independence in the defense industry. I believe MEAT will achieve even greater successes in the future. What do you think about MEAT? Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below.